Hi guys, getting ready to do your reading. This is for the week. All right, all right. Let's see what just came out. Could be some conflict with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Could be someone you were with a while for a while now, and you may be getting an offer or something. They want something either. They want to give you something or ask you for something or you want something from them and doesn't look like they want they want it or they want to answer or they don't like the idea or you don't like it. This could be a family issue also with Ten of Coin. And there may be either something you're hiding or a secret with the Four of Coin. Um, you're not telling them something. I feel like somebody wants you to do something and you don't want to do it is all and then but yet you're thinking about it with the hermit you're trying to review it you're taking time to yourself because someone else has different ideas around you there could be a lot of arguing or just different viewpoints and I feel like both of these are like just like no I'm not gonna do it I don't want to do it so maybe you're not talking to them maybe you're gone you know quiet dormant whatever you, you don't want to deal with the situation or the person whatever this is for you guys. You could also be the Queen of Wands. That could be your energy. What is the advice after the Hermit? What is the advice after the Hermit? Okay, Empress. Well, there. this could be someone else involved, but this isn't necessarily love. This could be anything. Empress is... I feel like it's your choice. Do what you want to do is what it's saying to me. Male or female. If someone wants to take something for you, or wants you to do something for them, or they want to offer you something, I feel like you don't need to do it because you have other options or you're not really worried about it. The Empress has a lot available to her. What is the Empress? A new beginning. Yeah, I don't, I've just, whatever this is referring to, this could be a work situation, a family. You're taking time away from something because you have your own viewpoint. You're not really worried about what other people are thinking or saying. This could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Um, I feel like you just don't want to deal with them. And you're saying, I don't need to deal with you because um, I have everything I need. I'm, I'm, I'm starting a new start. So I'm going to put these back in. I don't know exactly who that was for, but they just fell right out. I'm hoping that makes sense to someone. All right, so what is the message for the week? What's going on here the last week of August going into September? Last week of August going into September. What do you need to know? Three of Cups. Nice. Be happy. Have fun. Um, Nine of Coin. If you're single or you're happy. Two of Coin. Justice. Ace of Cups. Five of Wands coming out again. Tower and Queen of Coin. Could be an ex trying to get involved. That's what I'm seeing here with the tower energy. Um, could be that you maybe ended something. You're having fun now. Maybe you're even dating with this energy. You met someone new. I don't feel like it's super serious. I think it's just fun right now. This could also be going out with friends or family, even with the Ace of Cups. Just enjoying life. But this all of a sudden there's conflict then the tower, and then the queen of earth. Now this earth sign could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It can represent you also, but let's see what all this is saying. Three of cups, queen of cups. So there could be someone dramatic involved, or someone very highly emotional, or in a good sense, someone just having fun, being happy could be love if you are dating someone new you're falling in love you like them 
The water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Nine of coin. Nine of coin. Eight of wands. But maybe get some messages in. You're going to hear something. Two of coin. you thinking about starting something new. Justice. Temperance. Maybe I'm waiting for this new start. If this is um, love. Whoops, the Knight of Swords just came flying out. So I do feel like there's someone coming in that's involved, like an ex. Okay, so what is this Ace of Cups? What is this Ace of Cups? Four of Coin. You may be keeping this a secret. So, but that's okay because this may be why. What is the Five of Wands? What is the Five of Wands? Seven of Wands defending yourself. Yes, yeah, someone else doesn't want you to date. I don't think they've let you go. Um... You're pretty, you're done. You're moving on. You're happy. You're trying maybe to just keep this secret or private because you know it's going to cause drama. Um, this could, that's why I'm saying the Queen of Wands can be a drama queen or even the King of Wands. All emotional. All right. So you're, you're more or less saying, hey, I have a right to go out. We're over. We're done. This is what I want. And someone else is, looks like they're saying no. We're still together, you know, that kind of energy. They haven't quite let you go. So what is the tower? The tower could just be a huge fight. Death, yeah. Something's completely over, done. What is the queen of coin? What is the queen of coin? Or who is the queen of coin? Hang on. You could be dealing with an earth sign then. But um, magician manifesting. So manifesting to me with it's just taking action. He takes action. He goes after what he wants. He's going to create or she, you're going to create what you want. So it's, to me, it looks like exactly like what I'm, I'm see here. You could be single. You could be just breaking up with someone. You could be maybe just having fun with your friends, going out, enjoying life. Just, and then something comes along. It looks like someone new. And you are trying to decide if you should go out this week or not. Or maybe you're already going out with this person. Because this could be where this week heads up that there could be a huge fight. Um, could be this energy coming in, an ex. Um, they don't feel maybe that you should be dating. They're jealous, that type of energy. And I see where you're, you could have a huge blow up with tower and death. I mean, there's, you know, that's... That's just like the, the last final, you know, straw, the big one, the big fight. So, but I don't feel like this is that big of a deal to you because you look like you're happy. Or this could be you. You could be the other side of the coin, finding out about someone dating and you weren't expecting that. But if you're dating someone new and you know your ex is jealous or your ex still doesn't quite let you go, uh, be careful of this energy. I feel like you're not really necessarily flaunting it. You are trying to keep it private. But it's going to turn into, you know, just bickering. And then it's going to turn into that big, big blowout. So, it, you probably want to avoid the X this week or that type of energy. Um, I'm trying to relate this if this is, could be family, obviously, too. Some type of family conflict, friendship conflict. Could be your friends, going with your friends, and then you meet someone new. You start dating, and then your friend gets, you know, very jealous, that type of energy. So be careful, too, if you don't want to lose a friend. Because I almost feel like she looks a little sad, like she's alone after the tower. She's just looking at her coin. So be careful of that energy, too, because you don't necessarily want to lose a friend over something like this and have that you know, say really mean, hurtful things and then have the friendship totally die or have the relationship totally die. Because tower is bad. Yeah, it's a really bad, you know, break up, break down energy. And then sometimes when you say really hurtful things to each other, then it's over, it's done, you can't go back. So I'm almost seeing that energy too. For some of you, this is, you know, a family member, friendship type of relationship, how this fits in. You know, you're spending more time with um, a new boyfriend or girlfriend and they just don't get to see you as much. 
Because justice to me tells me that everything's fine. What you're doing is fine. You're dating. Maybe you ended something. It's time for you to meet, move on. Date other people. You've given it time of temperance. You're doing the right thing, I feel. Seven of Swords means, you know, you deserve this. It's time to do what you want. You're not necessarily, like, letting everyone know or trying to make anyone jealous. You're just going out and having a good time. So you probably are in the right, and this person's definitely saying things that are stupid, and they're just very jealous. So be careful, again, that you don't, like, burn any bridges or end any relationships with people you truly care about. But if it is an ex or someone you want to avoid because you know this is going to go down, definitely, you know, avoid them. Or again, this could actually end it completely with this energy here, obviously. But then they're saying, go ahead and move forward. Maybe once you clear that energy, you're moving on. One other way I could see this before I close, too, is that you do meet someone new. Because you can see that you're weighing up whether to start something new. You're pretty happy here. Something new, passion. This is kind of already in the past. So then you start going out. This could be someone that you find out something about. You guys just don't get along. They are, um, they're total opposite of you. You know, if you say the sky is blue, they say no, it's, you know, black or gray. If you like, you know, this red wine, they always like white. They always have to be opposite, different, you know, that kind of energy. They always have to be right. And it's really hard to get along with that type of person. So this could be that type of person. After you start going out with them, you realize they're just too much to handle. You don't like them. You don't get along. Maybe they're, they say mean things. So this could be actually where you just, you blow up the relationship. You're like, I don't want to deal with this. I'm moving on. Thank you. And so then now you're back kind of square one, starting over with love. And then you're going to go on magician and, you know, if you want to manifest a new relationship or go out, you do. You start over. I don't see it being a bad thing with that type of energy if you date someone this week and just don't like them at all. So that could happen too. I see that type of energy. So however this plays out for you, you guys, have a great week and take care.